sure I get the right one. Good to see you. Good to see you. The gunner's been in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I always fight. <laughs> He's a fighter. Do I need to keep this on? Okay, I'll, I'll keep it on. I want to welcome everybody here uh, to the Ronald Star. What a great view. Isn't this fantastic? There's so much so wonderful about Ronald. The, the, the uh, river walk, for example. Kathy and I were walking just yesterday and day before at the river walk. What a great thing. It's a very real attraction for the Ronald. Look at our educational system. All 29 uh, look, uh, of the schools are accredited. We have a high graduation rate, so I'm told. Yeah, give ourselves a big round of applause. Uh, there's so much going on in our economic development. People love living here. We got a pretty aggressive council, and we got great people running for city council. Here's yeah, Sherman Lee, our tremendous mayor. Uh, Trish White Boyd is here. Um, and Peter Bollison uh, and uh, Robert Jeffries. Be sure to vote for all of them. Great ticket. It's my uh, honor to introduce to you one of the most wonderful governors any state has ever had. That's uh, Ralph Northam, our tremendous governor. It's a good thing he's a doctor because we're in a pandemic. If you ever need a doctor as a governor, we got him. <laughs> and he's doing a tremendous job. He's presiding over a very progressive General Assembly. He's doing a tremendous job of, of representing everyone and uh, he's leading us in the right direction. He's a good friend of Ron Oaks. So I'd like to introduce to you our wonderful governor, His Excellency, the governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Ralph Northam. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And I will tell you, it is good to be back in the Star City. And I was telling some folks when I walked in, that if I didn't know where I was, I think I was in Florida today. You all, is the weather always nice it's like that? way during well, the day. Well, that's good. But anyway, thanks to all of you for, for being here today. I, I tell you, this is a time for leadership, and I couldn't be prouder than to be here today and to endorse my friends that are running on the ticket uh, in, in actually one week. Who who can believe what this election is in one week? But first of all, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the accomplishments here from our good mayor, but uh, certainly Sherman Lee deserves a second term uh, as mayor of Roanoke. We certainly want to re-elect Vice Mayor Joe Cobb. He's doing excellent work. Our councilwoman, Trish White Boyd. Trish, thanks so much for all that you do for Roanoke. And two candidates, Peter Velosen and Robert Jeffrey. I, I call them my starting lineup, Mayor, uh, all five of them. So we got a, a good lineup, but first of all, I'd like to thank Senator Edwards. And we were going to have some other legislators out here today, John. Thank you for your leadership. Um, as you all may know, the legislature was in town uh, for a little over six weeks uh, during a special session. A couple things they had on their agenda, very busy agenda. Number one was, was voting reform. And I want to remind everybody that's watching today, this is an important election. We have seven days left. Now, because of their leadership, you can vote 45 days prior to the election. It started on September the 18th with no excuse. They also made Election Day a state holiday, which is a big step in the right direction. Got rid of or eliminated Lee Jackson Day. We don't need that anymore in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And also made Juneteenth an official holiday in the state of Virginia. So John, thank you for your leadership. And as you know, we've also done a lot of police reform. I signed several pieces of legislation this morning, just landmark legislation that you did. And finally, the budget. Uh, we have one of the most progressive budgets that Virginia has ever seen. And despite COVID-19, we are keeping our priorities in education, especially early childhood education, making sure that individuals can go to community colleges without incurring debt, more counselors and our schools in K through 12. So our legislature really did a, a great job. So let's talk a little bit about leadership and what this man has done for the city of Roanoke. You know, every time I read the paper or turn the TV on, Roanoke is getting another award. And you've had a number of them under your leadership. And just a couple, 2019, All-American Hall of Fame City, one of the top 100 
place that you live. These things, Mayor, they don't happen in a vacuum. And I'm here today as your friend and as your supporter, and also on behalf of Virginia and Roanoke, to thank you for all that you've done to Roanoke. Please give Sherman a round of applause again. Let's talk about education. Look at the increased number of individuals that are graduating from your high schools here in Roanoke. Certainly something that is commendable. Business opportunities. You know, the economy is doing well here in Roanoke, thanks in large part to what's going on with Carillion, the research center, bringing more talent into Roanoke. Talent attracts talent, so you've got a great recipe for that, uh, Mr. Mayor. We appreciate what you're doing with small women and minority-owned businesses. As we know, they make up 90%, 97% of our economy, so continue the good work helping these businesses get back on their feet. And then finally, equity. One of the things that I love about Roanoke is that Roanoke is innovative, uh, it is diverse, and it is inclusive. We welcome people to the city of Roanoke, and that's what we need to do. It doesn't matter where someone comes from, what country they come from, doesn't matter their religion, who they love, everybody is welcome in this star city. So I'm here today proud to be with my former fellow senator. We used to be office mates, uh, but John Edwards, thank you so much for all you've done. Trish, uh, you're going to win this. I, I feel good about it, and I'm glad to be here to support you, but please welcome to the podium for the second term as mayor of this great star city, the city of Roanoke, our friend Sherman Lee. Sherman, thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. And Governor Norton, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you. And I'm glad you and the First Lady are feeling better. We are. Thank so you. much. And you and all of our thoughts and prayers. I want to thank you so much for your support and this endorsement. Thank you. I really appreciate this. This means so much to me and my family, Sherman Lee Jr. out there, and all of the citizens of Roanoke. I mean, the governor is just not handing these out. He's here, and I thank him for that and what he's done uh, in this, the Commonwealth of Virginia. And... Uh, I'm glad that he's here because when he comes by, good things are happening. We know things are happening. So I'm very much pleased with that. Is. And it's an honor to have him here. And we're proud of our All American City Awards. I do want to recognize my vice mayor that I mentioned, Joe Cobbs, uh, who's done a tremendous job. And I think Joe is on every committee that we have in the city. <laughs> but he loves people, he's very engaging and he's committed to making our city uh, what it is. And that's why we're an all-American city, because we engage the community. And I want to take this time to thank the governor personally for his leadership with this COVID-19 pandemic that we're going through. And he's there every week and sharing with us the, the good news and the tough news. And that's what leaders are called to do, and I think he done a tremendous job, and I'd ask that you give him a hand as we go through this. As we go through this. And I want to thank our senator here, great senator, uh, for us, and uh, Governor, I just want to say that we have a good working relationship with our legislature. Uh, they do a good job, and we're proud of what they do. And uh, so, we're going to go through this, and I'm proud, as the governor alluded to, our schools, all of our schools, 24 schools and about four programs, all of them are accredited. Uh, our police department is accredited. Our fire and EMS departments are accredited. Our sheriff's department is accredited. So we're really a solid city here that's doing great things, and I was just, I was proud that we won the All-American Award seven times uh, in six, 17, 18, and we were a finalist this year for that award. And that takes some work. So I'm really proud of what we're doing. And I just want to let you know that uh, we have a great city, and we're going to get even better. As the governor alluded to, Carillion, the Carillion and Virginia Tech partnerships, 
Medical School, and we look forward to, we're going to be the, the John Hopkins of the East Coast before long. We're thinking about that. We're heading in that direction. And that's so much, that's a shot in the arm for our economy and the things that we're doing and the great people in our city and the leadership we have with uh, Nancy Agee and Dr. Sands up at Virginia Tech. They're at our beck and call and uh, really able to help us. So, and I'm proud of my colleagues on city council and how we deal with equity. We have an equity and empowerment advisory board that we're putting together. And I also want to announce that this council selected the first Hispanic council member in the history of this city. Vivian Sanchez Jones will take her seat officially next Monday here in the city. So we're proud of what Vivian is bringing to the, the city and what she's doing. And that's what we want to do to inspire all our citizens. We're an inclusive city and we want all of them, all the citizens to know that you're welcome to be a part of it. So thank you all for coming out. Thank you for being here. And I'm proud to say I'm the mayor of a great city, the mayor of Roanoke, Virginia. And I ask you to go out and vote. Leave for mayor on November 3rd. And uh, I'm counting the days down, seven days, less than seven days. I'm counting the hours. So we've got to do it, and uh, we look forward to doing it. And I want to thank Joan Washburn for her work throughout this. Joan is, is Miss. She puts it all together. She's been doing some tremendous things and working every week with all of the candidates, especially the Democratic candidates. And uh, we had Dr. Way up down here last week. And this is not in his district, but he came and inspired all of us. And we think he can win this election. And so I'm asking you, everybody, to support these Democrats. And Sherman Jr., my son, thank him for his work. He's the uh, manager, and uh, he keeps up with the money. And I see a few things I didn't know anything about, but we'll have our budget meeting, and uh, we'll get all of that straight later on. But thank you guys. Thank you for coming out of Loop Pretty and, and uh, uh, Ms. Clayla and everybody who is here from Roanoke County. And everybody, thank you for your input. And uh, we just go out and make it a great day on Tuesday, November 3rd. All right? Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you. Keep Roanoke moving forward. There you go. Keep Roanoke moving forward. Keep Roanoke right moving forward. All right. All right. Well, we're here, and uh, any questions anybody wants to have, but I know you want to talk to the governor, but we're here to talk to you about anything or any concerns you may have. That concludes the press conference. All right. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, John. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, appreciate it. Appreciate it.